This is Tales of Heroes, video replay review number 77 from June 17th, 2011. The Big Red One. Welcome one, welcome all. Welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes. We are almost live from the year 1944. I am Bridger, and with me, as always, is my synaptic co-host, Rogers. Welcome to the program. Well, thank you for having me, Bridger. This is episode 77. Uh, we got a great team game to bring you guys today, and I'm really excited to get started here. Yep, and as for our standard guess the map moment here at the beginning, what we have right here is a important, you know, toll station, you know, assuming there's going to be somebody blocking this off. You know, he's got this, this, this arm preventing people from taking the road, and right next to it, as Rogers has pointed out, is a space big enough to drive a tiger tank through. So I'm not entirely certain <laughs> what this arm does. I'm also not sure what we got going on over here with this tracks that have driven through a tree. So somehow those tracks have been there for so long that this tree has grown. Or, or alternate hypothesis is that the tree has grown extra fast due to the minerals put in by the bodies of the slain during the war. <laughs> I don't know. That's my best bet. We're on Duclair, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in, uh, as it were. Oh, that's an old thing stuck in my brain from when I used to do this live. <clears throat> so, thanks for watching what we got going on here. Uh, Duclair, I have not uh, really played too much on. This is one of the newer maps, uh, one of the user-made maps here. We've got Americans and Brits versus PE and uh, and Wehrmacht. So, we're going to see all f all four factions here. Uh, and that's going to be a very interesting game. We have Rom Jim and Insane Rainbow Six. Rom Jim being one of the, the top players on the 2v2 auto match ladder uh, versus two people that are smurfing, and we don't know who they are, but they are also fairly good at the game, is for, or so I am told. So let's find out what's going on here. Let's jump into the game. Uh, I am at the five second mark, so let us get ready to go. Unpause. Okay, so what we have going on here is Wehrmacht, Panzer Elite, Brits and Americans on Duclair. Duclair, very important fuel points in the, t in the corners here, the north and south corners. The VP in the middle often seems like it's closer to the Allied side over here on the left, but uh, it should be, it's, it's also really close to the Axis side, so it should be close enough for either of them to get. <clears throat> We've it's got definitely an... going to be a main point of contention. The middle is always really harsh on this map. Every every faction is always fighting for it constantly. It seems like it's the main focal point of this map. Even yep. though there's constant skirmishing going on on the, the north and south. The resources are like on the north and south, but the middle is where that VP is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. looks like Panzer Elite is going to go for the south, and the Wehrmacht went north. They're both kind of ignoring the middle. They're letting the Americans and the Brits have that one. Right, they're really not engaging yet, and that's that's very interesting. Normally you see most people just go immediately for the middle and start attacking or set up an MG. We'll see what the Wehrmacht player comes out with. Uh, it looks gun. like it's a machine gun, right? Yep. Uh, but I really like to see this the Pioneers capping in the north. That's excellent. Uh, it's so far not contested. The Americans and Brits are not even moving north. They're not even looking north. They're uh, more concerned with the south and pushing off the PE down here. Looks like. All right, we've got a small skirmish turning into an engagement here in the south as the recon section grabs some heavy cover. Wait, the Panzer Grenadiers grab the same heavy cover. Whoa. This is clearly the most realistic portrayal <laughs> of combat. What ever. is this, the shootout at the, at the OK? Why did he run something? all the way around to the other <laughs> side? It's like, <laughs> it's like musical chairs with the infantry section. <laughs> Grenadiers are like turning around <laughs> with their guns. <laughs> yeah, did you see the Grenadiers are all like pirouetting at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was great. Oh no, Ketten's in trouble. Getting charged by rifles and engineers here. Still no contention in the north. That is, uh, that could definitely hurt the Allies if they don't even send a squad north at all. That's going to allow the entire resources of the north to go uncontested into Fairmont. And the north and now part of the middle. Yeah, they're pushing out. They're pushing out, but the Brits see it now. I think they're going to start moving in. No, no, uh, yeah, there they go. So it's still... Oh, no, the, the machine gun set up in the wrong direction. He turns it around, and then the rifles decide to get out of there before it sets up. Oh, it's the Wehrmacht MG bug. That is the most annoying thing in the world. 
It, like, sets up perpendicular to the way you want it to. Yeah. Ugh. I'm not sure exactly what causes it. All right, finally, it looks like the British are starting to respond. Officer 3 is responding to the north now. He's going to work on this Pioneer Squad, and I don't know why they're sticking around. Yeah, why would he just put them in heavy cover? Unless they decided to take the heavy cover there. He I'm must... Lose it. Yeah, he might have had that as a passive, like, a shift to order cued. Oh, you're right. It's possible. Uh, it looked like it took a little too long, though. <laughs> finally taking the VP in the north here. There's some more... Another infantry... Or just a rifle section coming up to, uh, to contest the north a little bit here. They yeah, said, yeah, your machine gun can have that, you know, fuel point down there. We don't we don't need that. We don't need it right now. Ketten's taking I, it, actually. I would almost say that maybe getting in a building with that MG would be a good idea. The big stone building. That could be helpful. Because I think it can fire north and south and to the left and uh, right of it. Yeah. Pretty what do you think about the placement of their first command truck there in the uh, munitions point? You know, to be honest, I would definitely put it on the 10 behind it because the north, uh, the middle is going to be such a point of contention right now that if they get an MG or a mortar firing on that, that's going to be very hard to defend. It's too close to the front, in my opinion. Yeah, but it's definitely going to help them cap the, or uh, hold the, the middle VP there. Every, every time it's in trouble, they just hit the retreat button. Everybody goes, wow, lost the machine gun to that uh, Bren carrier there with the Vickers. I think it upgraded mid mid fight there with the MG, yeah, which is why he saw it first. It didn't look like it was going to be a threat, and then suddenly the Vickers popped up. And the British nightmare is happening now. The MG is firing on all their units at the HQ sector. Oh, yeah. Heavy damage here. That's that's definitely a British nightmare. Look at the range on that thing. Yeah, the MG That's ridiculous. The Vickers... We do have a great flank come down from the American uh, Capitaine. He's going to come down uh, with a flame squad. The Bren squad. Oh, yeah, look at that. That machine gun squad is in trouble. It is in heavy cover there from the flank, but... Oh, he's just he turning it around. <laughs> I see your flank, and I raise you a swivel. <laughs> <laughs> Only you could delete neutral buildings, right? That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> now he's uh, moving away. He needs to move further than that. He needs to get a wide angle. Yeah, he's still... Oh, no, but it's going right to... Yeah, now. look at this rifle squad running right into it. Down to three. I think I cut in half. Look yeah. One burst. We have MP44s out for right here. Uh, that's, that's very nice. MP44s where? Uh, oh, we no, got they're an they're pushing. They just pushed off an engineer squad, and uh, they're starting to recap oh. some territory. Machine gun's gonna get out. It's gonna get out. No, it goes down. I think Armored the uh, rifles and the flamers there got in its way. If you uh, try and path your, your infantry in somebody else's way as they're retreating, you can cause them to slow down and give you just that extra second you need to knock them out. Actually, I saw a couple of strategy videos people suggest um, if you click on the map, you know, where you want to go, it shows you that little white line on the mini-map. That actually also works as a retreat path because the units oh. will path the same while retreating and while going someplace. So oh, if you think no something's idea. about to retreat, use your attacking unit to click back to their base very quickly just to path. see what the retreat path is. And then you can try to block it with another squad that's on the path somewhere. Look oh at this. God, there's a horde of infantry there. Do you yeah. see that on the right-hand side by that fuel? Can you imagine one mortar around there? It would oh, yeah. Everything. Two armored cars, though, doing a good job. They're just keeping the distance. They don't need to get close. They just need to pick off a guy every couple of seconds. I mean, that's just going to drain them of manpower. Getting Very close. slowly trying to take back the north, but right now map control is definitely falling to the Allies. Wonderful back and forth here. I mean, in the north, when the Americans and the British started taking it, the Panzer Elite had already capped the southern fuel. It was just great. Uh, back and forth with the resources here. Battlefield uh -oh. awareness is 100% for both teams here. I'm really liking it. Uh, infantry section building a Vickers machine gun emplacement on the north fuel. That's Ooh. certainly going to put a stall on them. Because I, I don't think even armored cars are going to be able to hit that. There's a rifle out. squad about to go down, Bridger, right outside the British base MGs. It's about to end down. Ooh. Those armored cars chased it down and murdered it. Very yeah, the nice. only thing that's that's really a threat to those armored cars right now. Look out. The, enemy um, the only thing that's a real people. threat to those armored cars right now is uh, that Vickers, uh, sorry, the Bren carrier with the Vickers and the uh, armor piercing rounds. Because there's no bars. Bars would be another good upgrade for the American player. Because then if they could get bars and Brens on the infantry sections, they could button it and then take it out. Right, right. We're seeing another squad almost being ripped apart by this. These yeah, armored car recon section. Oh, is he going to make it? He could go all the way right oh, into a bread. Oh, we have armor-piercing rounds pop. Look at that, huh? Look at it go down. Oh, my God. He needs to get that armor car out of there. Big he's time. just got to turn it. Kills. Yeah, he's going to lose it. 
Here comes. No, he's doing some crazy micros. <laughs> Keeping it alive. Puts it behind the other car. Not enough. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, that cannon on the back just doesn't do any damage to the to the Bren carrier. But he's got a Shrek squad that'll force it to retreat. Right. That what is, is that? Piot? No, engineers bringing that Bren carrier, topping it off, as they say. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Giving it a little bit of. Uh the repairability. Uh, we're seeing this complete southern hand of the map is all in allied hands, so that's great resources for them. We're seeing uh, tw 286 manpower, 45 munitions, and 33 fuel. That fuel is going to be big. Yeah, the the Axis are sitting at 15 fuel right now. They're not doing a whole lot of income fuel here. Nice, Shrek's forcing that Bren. Get the hell out of here. Sitting him in the building, like a major maybe? engagement in the north here. The building has a lot, a lot of, of good uh, windows, forces building up here. We've got, uh, what is that? Casualty clearing station. Mm-hmm. Just south right. of the headquarters. Wow, look at this. Three Bren squads. Oh. That Shrek's got to get out of there. No, run. He's trying to throw a grenade. He's throwing a grenade. He's throwing a grenade. Oh, nice. they're forced to full retreat. But he didn't lose any manpower out of it. That was good. That was a good response from the Brit player, I think. He's just, he's not going that far. He's just going over here. It's a mortar half track trying to take out the Vickers from a safe distance. Very nice there. Instead of getting a lot of units suppressed, they're trying to passively Yeah, look at how long it's taken, though. Engineer squad just went down in the north on that five by the armor car just murdered him. Can you see that? Yeah. What's going on down here? Uh oh. Assault grenadiers getting in heavy cover, but there's two rifle squads there. Look at that damage. Oh my god. Yeah, they got to get out of there. Oh, oh. Yep. I think he's gonna make it. There he goes. There's you no have an M8 upgrading. There's no fundamental difference between an assault squad and a uh, squad that's been upgraded to MP44s, is there? Uh, I gotta look I up on the stats. I want to say that there side. is. I want to say that there is, but you I don't think assaults believe have that. a little more health or something. I think maybe something with their accuracy, we'll but look I'm it up. really not sure. Another armored car popping out. It was just the armored. Uh, the M8 was pushed off by a very nicely positioned pack there on the northern hill. Very nice to see. We got a medic bunker coming up. I'd imagine it's going to be a medic bunker, unless they may they may go repair since the Panzer really has a lot of vehicles. Yep. Well, they've got you know all the Panzer well, Grenadiers though can can heal. Right, but they're not very fast with the repair unless they got their uh, their. Up oh, we've got a bunch of mines here. One, two, three, four, five mines. At middle, yeah, that is going to be big. Unless I mean that can go both ways. If a mortar hits that, it can damage American and Brit units too. We have a sapper squad with Piots. Uh, the field support truck is in the south on the 10 fuel, Ooh, yeah, and we're a getting a 25 pounder up here. Have been upgraded. So that is going to Not provide ready. some great fire support if he uses it wisely. Yeah, that's going to be able to block both VPs there. That's all you need. We're about to get a free squad back from this uh, dying engineer here. Watch this. And he's British now. <laughs> <laughs> so he's been repatriated, I suppose. I guess so. His parents were from dear old England. He's retreating a bunch of... Oh, you know what? I think he just picked up the uh, expanded squads from the logistic company. I think he did, too. Yeah. Did That's he good to logistic see. Company? Let's see. No, he doesn't have it. Oh, so. sorry. We're both I wrong. guess not. Why did he send him back? <laughs> he probably wanted to heal him up because he got the uh, defensive op ability. That's probably true. That's probably what he got. 25 pounder is complete. <laughs> they finally got the fuel back there. I didn't notice that. Ah, look at the range on that thing. Holy crap. Look at this mass of um, allied infantry, the M8. Oh no Shreks goodness. down in the south here. They might lose the assaults, no. Yeah, they're forced off the right-hand side, but now they're trying to hold middle. But this is so much British infantry here. Oh, I man. Would be we see he some needs a machine gun. Oh, my God. Keep backing up, armored cars. Keep backing up. Yeah, they can't get they can't get buttoned or they're done. Whoa. Whoa. Here comes the artillery. I would definitely back that pack up. That is... Oh, he's so lucky that first shot wasn't like a, a freaking inch higher. I would have blown that pack gun to hell. Very, very lucky there. He's keeping it. I think he's got the uh, the hold fire on it. You got to keep control of your packs if, you're, if you've got this much infantry running around. The Germans are totally routed in the middle. Total route. Oh, uh, looks like we've got Luftwaffe from the. Uh, oh, he just said it in team chat. <laughs> he's taking a while to decide to go it. But he's got the ground forces, so maybe he might get an uh, an 88 here to help contest that would be the middle. Awesome. Yeah. 
I don't know how well it would do against this grip mob, though. They'd probably just heroic charge it and murder it. Machine guns suppressing them through the solid dirt. Wow, where the hell was that mortar aiming for? That lack of ground, like a yard away? Grens are taking lots of damage from the side here. These armored cars just picking them off. He's got an AT gun trying to fire on the mortar half track, but it's hitting hedges right now, so it's not doing that good of a job. Where's the AT? Oh, there's a mortar uh, incendiary round. Yeah, incendiary shot there, uh, dotting a few guys to death. <laughs> I didn't even notice the hedge got uh, charred, broiled there from all the fire. I just love the damage that happens to the map over the course of the game. It's awesome. Oh, no! <laughs> M8 Big comes around the corner and they have nothing to fight it with. Yeah. As a the Grens are still in the base recharging health, I think. Or are they? Yes, they are. Nope, they're on the north, apparently. A lot of OPs coming up. We got an OP on the 10. Uh, munitions in the north. And another on the, on the just outside the bare yeah, base. So they're going to have, yeah, the Axis has 52 munitions income. That's certainly going to help them with getting the weapon upgrades that they need. Definitely. Look at that. And potentially, oh, is that a verbal wind? It is. He's gone with a verbal wind. That's going to help him against the infantry. But there's Piats and there's Brens. That's just going to be really difficult. He's going to be very useful. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Bren squad. Bren squad. Got out of there just in time. Yeah, the I got to say, though. To finish him off. I don't know why he got a verbal wind. I would have just gotten uh I would have gotten anything but a verbal then. <laughs> I mean, the range isn't good. Nothing's good on that damn thing. We have the ability to the, uh, they're the going for, for uh, veterancy on the Wehrmacht the here. Two veterancy on his infantry so far. That is going to be good to see. Uh, Brain carrier pushing in the game off that, the infantry in the north. They're going to cap this fuel back again. Yikes. Second 25-pounder is up just north of the casualty clearing center. Oh, Doing a wow. good job of spacing them out there. It's nice to see. Nice to see. It looks like it's getting ready to fire, too. That shell going. I'm guessing it's going to hit something. Oh. It's hitting that main causeway outside the B e and bear base. It's kind of tracking the verbal bend. <laughs> it's like, come back here! You have one kill that is unacceptable. Oh, verbal. I see the mortars too from this angle. That's kind of cool. The massive Brit infantry just sitting outside that HQ. I still I still wary of that position. If if the if the Wehrmacht player would have gone tier 3 as opposed to 2 and maybe gone Storms, gotten some Nebels, I mean, this Brit infantry would be just sliced to pieces. Nebels are so awesome in this game. Wait, what is Loving that? Him. He dropped a, uh... Is the fire damaging that AT gun? Where? Oh my... It's melting it! <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, from the mortar half-track, the incendiary... Oh it's gone! God, it it exploded! Blew up. How did <laughs> like it every blow action up? movie ever. Whenever something <laughs> crashes at five miles an hour, it explodes, right? Yeah, it could be a golf cart oh boy. off a cliff and it would just explode. Look at these Shreks, they're just running into oh. this mass of infantry. How are they dodging all those bullets? Wow, they're Triple like, vet. step That's carefully how. the mine hunts, Ooh. and then it blows up for the bread. Look at that. Follow me into the mines. It had and six finished off by the other Shrek control. squad. Oh, very nice. Do you know if uh, the brain carrier gets vengeance if the Cromwell is around? Or a command tank? It probably does from a command tank, I would guess. I don't think it's going to get it from the lieutenant, though. <laughs> That'd be retarded. <laughs> that was so weird. We got sniper, a uh, sniper up from the American player. Two of them. Good Two Lord. snipers? Yeah, look at that. That's going to be a nice surprise. Oh, but the they're already <laughs> owning everything. Look at the this Verbal massive is red. Shooting passively over the AT gun, like, I'm not going to do any damage to you. Jeez, that medic died with a. Oh my god, I've never heard them screaming in pain before. This is making me upset. <laughs> Geneva Convention stopped issuing. The Verbal Vent was called in how long ago? It has one kill. Yeah, it's lucky it has one kill. <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh boy. That 25 pounder just decimated a squad that walked Ooh. right into a shell. <laughs> you see the medic fly over the medic bunker? Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. There he goes again, being pushed down the hill. Poor guy. Poor Siegfried. Pack tried to get a shot off on the, uh, I think, did it kill the M8? Where did the M8 go? Yeah, the M8 went down in the south, I believe. No, I think Something it got down in the north from the pack. I think that's its hulk right there. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yep, there it is. I missed that one. We have well, we got Shrex charging the, uh, the the British base. Uh, wow. There they go. Excellent there. Triple vet. 
two Shreks each, I think? Yeah. Yeah. They're just going to try and knock out... What are they knocking out? Oh, this is excellent right here. Look at that. And look over here. The Brits getting completely routed by a couple of armored cars and uh, assault grenadiers. Funny thing is, is they're not even going to get there. Oh! Everything's going down. They, they're, they're all running as fast as possible, but they can't make it in time. You know, another interesting fact, Bridger, Grenadier grenades do a lot of damage to emplacements. Really? I didn't notice that. They, uh, they damage the crews heavily, so you can actually decrew crew emplacements ah. fairly easily. We got officer artillery coming down. One second. Oh, boy. And he had enough time to move out of the way, though. That certainly helped. Yeah. Jeez, that truck is trying to pack up. Whoa, why did he redeploy? He thought he was safe? Uh, wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think he did, but his own artillery took in it down. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, what was that? Yeah, Tommy Squad just got knocked out by the MP44s. We have a complete route here. Look at this. this these MP44s are just cleaning up. Look at that. I was, wow. I was about to say I had no idea how the Germans were going to come back from this. There was this blob of American-British death holding <laughs> the vast majority of the map, and all they had was... Oh, there's the snipers coming into play. Looks like Hitler got the memo and he decided to uh, <laughs> oblige you with, uh, yeah. with a perfect counter. Yeah, <laughs> SDG 44s, that's what he needed. And he got the uh, the four, four per squad. He built a logistic company. He back-teched the logistic to get the uh, the, uh, the enhanced Format. squad size. Well, we He's going to need that now with these snipers out on the field. That Gren squad is down to one man. Run away. Oh, no, it's two men. Run, hon. But here's the four. He's going to try to charge the snipers. Oh, not a good idea. not going to make it out of here. Turns out it's a bad power. idea. They're Hit down the retreat, but they're... No, 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 gone. Wow. Oh, he just turns his head and just blown helmet off. He's gone. That's, that's what happens when snipers are backed up by, you know, an army. <laughs> so here's the new HQ truck pulling to a little bit further back. But wow, that was a lot of resources blocked. What the hell lost. is that captain doing in the house shooting his Webley out of a window? <laughs> Alright, Governor. I found a great place for the HQ. Yeah. Jeez, the snipers are cleaning up. Mm. This guy's that got seven kills. Where's the other actually. one? Look at that. That's a lieutenant. We have priests available, so we have Royal Canadian Artillery. Or is it Royal? Five and seven. Artillery. It's Royal Canadian. Yeah, Royal Canadian Artillery. Yeah. But now the, uh... The Germans took the victory point for a while. Now the, the victory points are swinging the other way. They still have a pretty high deficit. They're about... Oh, my God. He bought a second verbal vid. Why would you ever do oh, that? Oh, no. It's just a waste Look of at this. These Brits are trying to kill this machine gun flat on, but it's not going to work. Not with the flanking grenadiers. Look at those grenadiers. And he's got a sniper there, too. Oh, do not charge the M8 directly into the Grenadiers. Come on, that's got to be a bad busy. idea. They're too busy. They can't. They don't have time to fire. Look at that. They're all glitching. The mortars out. dropping on them. Snipers trying to get them. They're not firing. What the? This. I hate that when Grenadiers do that. Right, now they're suppressed by the 50 cal. Uh, yeah. Wow, they lost a retreating squad, Bridger. There's a Shrek down. By the VP. Oh yeah. That. Wait, they lost one of their Shrek squads. I believe they so. might have just no, lost. No, okay, track. they lost. Whoa, well, they found there. the. Oh, that sniper ran out into the open and got owned by two armored cars. <laughs> it's okay, Johnny. I got him. No, don't go out there, Timmy. Oh, it's too late. A little like drive the, the cars to speed by. I, mean, dead. I like that the wheels from the old HQ are still chilling on the battlefield. <laughs> Nothing else <laughs> yeah, is all left. All four of them nicely spread out. Yeah, that's all that remains. Are you seeing this Luftwaffe squad with a, a Shrek right now by the VP? It's kind of funny. Awesome. Well, it keeps it from falling into their hands, and now they can, you know, do something. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, here we got the uh, armored command truck coming up. What's the American at? He's at the motor pool for a while. Yeah, he's building a, a healing station now, right now. And we have armored cars, triple and double vet defensive. My God, chasing off this uh, flame squad here. Yeah, they have gotten a lot of kills. 10 and 27 for that triple vet squad. The enemy is weak he keeps that alive. That's the one from the beginning of the game. It is. It the is. second it's one got built. Uh, this Shrek squad is in a barn right now. I guess they're <laughs> chilling with the cows. 
of the horses. Doing uh, something to die. Yeah. They, they, they exploded out of the back of it, and one of them just, like, died. Was an ejection out of barn. <laughs> he did kind of get ejected out of there. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Guess the farmer didn't like their presence, so he just booted their asses out. Uh, this verbal vend is going to die in about a half a second. Yeah, it is. Gonna button it. Here comes the oh. button. There it is. Here come the piots. Two squads, baby. They can't fire. Oh my it's just gonna God. sit there AT and get... gun and disco mode engage. Look at those <laughs> <guys>. <laughs> doosh, doosh, doosh. Yeah! <laughs> they do a jump at the end. That's their big finale. <laughs> <laughs> I love that thing. <laughs> disco mode <laughs> I didn't know. I, and if I'd known it had a disco mode, hell, I'd pay more for that. Yeah, no kidding. I'd pay how much? How much manpower does it cost to, or munitions to upgrade a disco mode? Oh, Probably no. about 350 munitions. The Brits and the Americans now have bars. Now they can uh, push back here. They've made, they've, they've made up for that lack of... It's not going to end well for the Germans in the middle. Look at this massive push here. He needs oh, more wow, machine... we had an infantry oh, section. Oh, no, the machine gun there. was trying to suppress him. He's getting killed by the sniper. I think. I saw a sniper somewhere. Oh. Yeah, the Germans hold the north. They killed an infantry section just south of the VP there in the north. The uh, lieutenant's got two, two level two vet. Oh, he's gonna get three pretty soon. I keep we have the a Trommel command the tank out. There he is. I think it's trying to give veterancy to the M8 in the south. <laughs> the sniper's going after these Fallschirmjägers in the. Uh oh, M8's getting hit by the Fallschirmjägers. They're actually just Luftwaffes. I'm oh, sorry, close. Luftwaffe. I was good. Ugh. Luftwaffe's command truck up for the. <laughs> yeah, see, it's trying to give vet to the M8, but it's not working. I guess oh, so. No, they dropped the Shrek. Oh, God. Are they going Luftwaffe. for fireflies? Like, why would they build a command truck? Uh, hey, oh my God, we have a firestorm on their HQ. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Look at that. Trees falling apart. Oh, man. But Manage. that was Americans re re retreating, so they retreated past the... Isn't it? Yeah, that was devastating beyond words. I think he retreated him to his captain. He had to have... No, he undeployed his HQ and they retreated to his allies' base. Oh, very tricky. That was a very nice firestorm there. I see that oh again. My. That was... That, that was really good. Replay there. Yeah, of course, wow. All is I like how the tree falls deal. apart. Now That's awesome. Wow, that sniper almost got gibbed by a mortar right, there. so he's uh, rebuilt the HQ there. I gotta remember that trick. AT gun just went down in the mortar. Very to nice. The efficiency of our support command structure. Yeah, we do have a firefly out now. That's gonna that's gonna hurt. He can get Fallschirmjägers now. He's got oh, he's dropped butterflies somewhere. Upgrade, oh, yeah. The medic's still pulling people back to the casualty clearing station here. Yeah, butterfly bombs, the M&Ms of mines. <laughs> <laughs> so the Wehrmacht sniper's only got two two kills so far, but he's still doing okay. The Germans took back huge chunks of the map here. They did. They have total map control, just about. So they've been holding on to that middle VP for a while. They're here come the up. Brits. Where's the uh, Where's the lieutenant? Where's the Louis? They're all moving slow. I'm pretty sure he got gibbed. He's got a heavy machine gun team. Did he steal an MG from somewhere? I think no, he, he did. No, uh, he built a weapon support center, dude. He's had snipers. Oh, sorry, that's the Americans. For some reason, yeah, that's the worst. Shrek blob coming up now to engage the Brit blob. He's got a sniper there, too, but he hasn't been using it at all. Still only got two kills. He's scared of uh, the fat. Uh, it's got 15 kills. I oh, you mean the uh, Ver sniper? The Ver sniper, yeah. I think that's what you're exactly right. He's, he's worried about the American sniper. Yeah, and vice versa. What is that? Is that an FG? No, it's a bar on the ground. We have say, calliopes out, so we have armor and RCA. So that calliope is going to be devastating once he finds those Shrek, the Shrek blob. And they got hit by a mine. Look at that. They're all suppressed there, uh, just north of the v uh, middle VP. Oh, the They're Shrek all. squads? Yeah. Yeah, those mines all finally exploded. I didn't even see when they exploded, but I have to assume they helped out the, <laughs> the Brits <laughs> yeah, at some Yeah, one point. side or the other, right? They did something. Yeah. When something oh, explodes, uh oh, oh never mind. That's the correct sniper. Fifteen kills on this sniper. Actually, seeing a trench coming up at the twenty-sixth yeah. mark. <laughs> it's only been twenty-six minutes into the game. The pack is in a nice position, guarding this whole open area here. I like how he's holding back his calliope barrage, and he's not barraging into an area where he thinks the enemy is. He's waiting for the enemy to attack. Look at this. We have these Grens standing by, waiting for the other guys to push so that he can come. Oh my god, we have a V1, v1. coming in. Where is it? I'm guessing it's going to hit near the trench. 
it has to. He doesn't have LOS anywhere else. Nope, HQ! Oh! He got the Calliope! Yep. All right, we got to see that again. I can't believe it. Look, the HQ truck is at half health. What did he have line of sight with it? Now he's coming in. Oh, man. That was so amazing. Look at this. Now he's coming in with the Shreks. And there's just a Firefly to stop him. Here comes another Calliope. He bought a second Calliope, and it's hitting his own guys. Watch out, Brits. Okay, okay. I don't know what the hell just happened, but he just got a kill from his own friendly uh, forces. He, he was at one, did. and then he killed a Brit infantry, and he got two. <laughs> I've never seen the dang V1. Did he have a sniper close to there? Is that how he got line looking, of sight on it? I've got, yeah, I've got the minimap bug where I can't see any units when I'm in the minimap until gotcha. the uh, team sees it. So, yeah, I guess he did have the sniper there. It's retreating now. That was crazy. That was a good use of the V1. If you ever do use the V1, <clears throat> you need to use it on some place where they're not expecting because they're immediately going to move every unit that they have on the front lines so that they can't get Or they're get hit just going to start moving immediately like they're going to spread their units out. Right. That's the best thing to try and do. They got a Osvind out of Vet 2 and a third one, a uh, second one. Oh my god. He's got that Firefly with the command truck. That's going to be hard to crack. The German sniper still only has two. I think he's just using it to scout. Yeah, I think so too. Very wise. Especially since he's got, you know, Firestorm. He's got the Terror Doctrine abilities. Okay, he he's got an use... Ostwind and an Ostwind. A Henschel would be really nice now at middle, you know what I mean? Dropped. Oh man, dropped a fire. Incendiary. Incendiary, yeah. It seems like the the British are the British and Americans kind of have a stalemate set up at middle here. They've lost the territory sector. But uh, they're, they're definitely holding their line. They have a lot of anti-armor. Two Calliopes firing just uh, right in the VP. Oh, boy. Just sort of blind fire there. They took out the yeah. hedge. They took out all the trees. Yeah, it didn't oh, kill geez. anything. Look at all the fire. That's devastating. Oh, PG squad about to kill a Bren squad above the strap point. Oh, uh, you got it. There it is. The lieutenant hey, has to run away. that lieutenant. <laughs> How many kills is the lieutenant Oh boy, here comes the German blob. MP4s cutting up through the uh, the south. You seeing that? They're Ooh, look at that, the... yeah. Here come the Shreks from the north. Did they just try to... No, they just took out the AT gun. I thought they were remanning it. Panthers! Uh-oh! This oh, could be one, it. One down. One Panther is down. Did the down Firefly get him? Sector. Yeah. Oh, there's two Fireflies. That'll certainly do it. The other Panther's at three quarters health. The Firefly's being protected and re and, and healed by the by the Piats. The uh, Firefly, their command truck just ran over two Grenadiers, in case you wanted to know. <laughs> and forced them all off. You mean the Firefly? Yeah, oh, no, no, the command the, uh, tank. The, uh, the Cromwell, Cromwell. Command tank. Yeah, they flank speed. Flank speed, that's right. That's actually right. designed to crush people, though. I'm not nearly as annoyed by that as I am when the M10 crushes things. Uh-oh! Yeah, it just pivots on a dime. Mortar just damaged the... I'm sorry, mine just damaged the mortar half-track and the panther. Oh, Both go. got a damage engine when the when the mortar half-track ran over it. Whoa! Whoa! Mortar just hit. Nice mortar! That was totally nice. worth getting the engine damage. And they're firing down back at the mortar and the, and the panther as well. Those rockets could do some damage to this tank. No direct uh, hits, not though. Not enough. And we have a repair bunker up from the Germans, it looks Ooh, like. Ooh, yes. That's what they needed. Oh, my God. That guy was just repairing the ground for some reason. And here comes another climb. Oh, they don't geez. want to let that mortar go. Keep moving it. Don't lose it. It has 29 kills and a tank kill. Don't Jesus. lose it. Jesus. That's how the mortar did so much damage. It's got triple offensive vet. That's beautiful. That's what I like to see. And they finally capped the middle with a Ketten. Oh, we have a priest on the field. It's firing... Uh, in the same area as the mortar was hitting. Oh, jeez. They are not letting up. They don't want to let that mortar live. We have three OPs up on munitions. Are you seeing this, Bridger? For they the are really going heavy in terror two. doctrine abilities. They're probably saving up oh, for yeah. mass prop war. Keep them off the VPs. How much uh, are you watching for the PE or the VARES? The PE here. Okay. Research. He's got initials up. Uploading. Butterfly bombs dropping down somewhere. Prepare. Great. I don't know where though. <laughs> Double Osman just picking away at Brits. Look at that. <laughs> Getting destroyed by the uh, Firefly, you mean? Oh, he's got triple tank vet. Yeah, 
he does. He's oh, got that's triple not going to stop the Ausman. No, it's not going to help him. I love how the guys go flying out the top of it. That's like an action movie. Well, see, too. the Germans in 1944, they didn't have the ejection seat perfected, so the crews <laughs> normally broke their spines on impact. Yeah, or the ejection seat happened way too late. Yeah. Uh -oh. So they were already on fire when they were ejected. <laughs> I love that. That guy gets hit. He basically did a rocket jump off of the, yeah. <laughs> the firefly. Uh, very nice calliope strike pushed off MP44 blobs moving to the south of that 10 in the middle. Looks like they still got the AT gun, though. Panther might be in Where'd trouble. I would have gone defensive. Firefly go. Defensive. Here comes another calliope brush fire on the uh -oh. grand. Uh oh, command tank gone. Did they lose the firefly? They did. I didn't even see it happen. I saw it was up there and then it was gone. You have Henschel's on the Calliope's called in. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, how I suck a machine. Oh! Damage engine from the Firestorm. Look at that, baby. Oh, he you might not lose either the of these. That would this. suck. I want new ones. Oh, no, here comes more Henschel's. I love Henschel's. how the, the Henschel just turns on a dime. It just goes up. <laughs> it just disappears. It's another Henschel. No, he doesn't have... Oh, no. He, oh, there goes one. God, it just, like, dips and then I like goes the up. little dip there. Oh. So he got one free calliope there. Yeah, the American player is done, and the game has ended. Wow. They gave up, huh? That V1 They was still so had so many victory points, though. It's kind of They did, but the map control was so skewed, and the Germans were doing such a good job of flanking from north and south constantly that it was just making it impossible for them to take. What's the any. American player even have? He, he lost all his infantry, huh? Yeah, he lost everything but his Calliope and an MG team. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is time to to give up yeah. at that point then, because the uh, they they can call you know they have enough basically to call in another Panther battle group pretty soon. Oh my god. If they needed it. Because they lost both Panthers before, right? No, this one's still back here getting repaired. <laughs> wow. So that oh, had great. a lot of everything in it, huh? Yeah, no kidding. We have a mortar after I can finish with 29 kills, a tank kill, and a building kill. I'm guessing that was the MG bunker. That's a that's the MG half track that has or the mortar half track that's been alive the whole game. Very yeah, nice. Yeah, I think it determines the title Hans. <laughs> I think that Hans uh, 2.0. Hans 2.0. Now in half-track form. But yeah, that would be awesome. I yeah. love the OPs, man. That is so good to see. They must have been raking in the munitions yeah, the whole time. Yeah, 70 munitions per minute. Oh, God. So that's a lot of firestorms. <laughs> that is beyond <laughs> They kept epic. going on. Um, <clears throat> wow. Had a lot of Brens. They didn't seem to be as effective as you would expect them to be. You know, I think it was just because the uh, the PE player was doing such a great job keeping his uh, his units at max range, like the armored cars. Yeah. Like we were talking about earlier, that they were just plinking away, and then when they'd move up, they'd take so much damage moving out of cover that it just wouldn't be worth it to keep following him until he got tanks. That's probably why he went for Fireflies, to try and counter uh, from range uh, all the armored cars and the mortar half-tracks. That's probably what he was going to try to do, late game at least. But it just didn't turn out. That's why you got the command tank, I'd say, to give it the range uh, bonus. Yeah. Accuracy bonus. But still, the armored car with 34 kills. <laughs> and <laughs> another one with 15. God, that's awesome. <clears throat> Those armored cars were gorgeous, I must say. I must. I got to give the Brit player credit. He played very well with his infantry. I mean, he was very aggressive. Yeah, definitely. The, the I feel like they still had a chance though with these two Calliopes. The American player, if he got them lined up right, he could have gotten himself right back in. Maybe they just didn't know. But the Wehrmacht player doesn't have much left on the field. All he has is those two Gren squads and a sniper that you can see. And he's got one Gren squad back at the base, but that's kind of it. He doesn't have any Panthers. He doesn't have anything else. Let's he was be, building let's something. Here. There is no uh, hope for the Ostwin, so he doesn't have no. to worry about that. <laughs> no, he can ignore that Ostwin. <laughs> so I would say the Battlefield Heroes were definitely the two verbal Vins that had one kill. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> before the second one decided to engage party time and <laughs> yeah. eject its eject contents. <laughs> I think... Um, <laughs> I think some of the, the, the key moments where the the crate at the beginning with the crazy combination of the British, the allied push with mm -hmm. all of those units and very good micro on that Bren carrier. Absolutely. Using the AP, man, managed to game. use the AP to get the uh, the kill on the armored car. 
Very true. That was a great moment. Um, and then blocking off the northern fuel point. That was very well done. That, that kept them key. off the fuel for two or three minutes at least. And Longer that was, than they would have been off of it, yeah. No kidding. Very. That was very crucial. And that firestorm was amazing, by the way. The first one, that was yeah. oh, amazing. Also, awesome little trick maneuver by, you know, disengaging his HQ to force his guys to retreat past the firestorm instead of into to his the allies fire, base. firestorm. Yeah, that was that's... great. I like that. And uh, the, I think the charge, though, was the best moment. Uh, we didn't see a whole lot of it, but there was, like, this mass of British infantry over here. And then three, four-member assault grenadier squads come charging out of the base. And yeah. it looks like they scared them all off, but I think they all retreated to try and save the HQ from the they flanking Panzer yeah, Shrek. Sure. That, you know, you were talking about how the British were playing aggressively, but that was kind of their downfall. They because overextended. They definitely. overextended. They should not have have left that completely defenseless. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I agree with you. Whew. That was what a game. Quite a game. I love team games. Casting them is awesome. Playing them is another thing. I tend to lose. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to lose a lot. Yeah. Oh man. So I have to say that was a pretty massively awesome comeback. Great job to the uh, the Wehrmacht player for the flank that got him back in the game. Uh, great play by both the American and the British player there, getting them to the, you know, overwhelming position in the first place, just not able to hold on to it. Man, great game. Indeed. I guess we are out for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you have any other replays that you want to submit to us, go ahead and send them to T.O. Don't send them there. Send them to T.O.H. Replays at... Uh, sound-strategy.net It's right up there on the screen for you TOH replays at sound-strategy.net If you've got any feedback for us uh, send it to uh, admin at sound-strategy.net uh, and uh, if you have anything else uh, you'd like to talk to us about talk to us on the forums talk to us anywhere else tell your friends by the way if you want to help out the show just tell your friends send them a link put it on Facebook put it on YouTube just get the word out there that's all we ask tell somebody alright have a good day, everybody. See you in two weeks for a full show.